Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Indrani Ghosh, a second year MBBS student. So actually this is my very first video of long form on YouTube. And in this video I'll be talking about how I managed to get an AIMS in my very first attempt itself while at the same time managing to score pretty well in my boards that is a 98.5% and how you can do it too. of you here are need aspirants and have been in your position so I know the value of time and I would not like to waste it so let's get right into it let's start with boards previous year question papers this is a solution literally it so make sure you're solving at least last 10 years previous year question papers make sure you know the keywords and this is about it now, if you're studying for NEET, so physics, chemistry, and biology, these sub three subjects will be more or less covered. What are the additional things you must be doing? For biology, diagrams. For chemistry, uh, reasoning with all those equations. For physics, theorems, derivations. All of this is important. Now, apart from these, uh, in both usual subjects are English, or it could be a second language, or maths, because I was from an ISC board, so the other option for me was environment and science. So I obviously opted for maths. Now for English, make sure that you have your notes. Now maybe you've made your notes following teachers, what the teachers had to say in class, or maybe you made it on your own. But please make sure that you have keywords pertaining to your text. That is very important. It shows that you've read the text and you've paid attention to it. For maths, examples, examples and examples. Literally it, many times questions come directly from the examples. Okay, so for boards, this is practically it because I know that you need aspirant, your first priority is need, right? Boards comes at a second position, but maybe you want as a backup or maybe you just want to do well in boards because maybe you talked to school in 10th grade and now people have expectations from you or maybe you feel like it is an obligation, whatever it be the reason, this would definitely help you. Now coming to need. Now, many people must have told you the importance of timetables as a NEET aspirant. But actually, no timetable ever worked for me, I'm being very honest. I was never good with timetables. I could not make an effective one and I could definitely not stick to one. So what I used to do, what I, I used to have day targets. That is the night before, I used to plan my day ahead. That is, I used to know that what I have to study the day before. So it would not be divided into sections like in this or I would be studying this, no. But I used to know that, okay, in this entire day, I have to cover these topics or solve these many MCQs. I just found it more easier to do. Now, the process of learning, it is nothing new, right? It is simple, but it, you have to be consistent and that is what makes it difficult. Also, please make sure that you're taking a good amount of breaks as well. You do not have to be studying for 12 hours every single day. It is not at all required please do not undergo burnout okay it will only negatively affect you so make sure you have time for your friends your family uh, maybe say in like two weeks you go out for dinner no it won't affect your preparation but yes it will uplift your mood and that might in fact benefit your preparation also make sure you're eating well and you're sleeping well now i get it that many of you are not able to wake up at in the morning because I used to never be able to wake up in the morning I have always been a night out so what I used to do was that I used to study till 5 or 6 in the morning and then uh, go to bed and then wake up maybe around 12 or 1 or sometimes even 2 p.m. so just whatever your schedule is just make sure you at least get 6 to 8 hours of sleep because that is very very important and for last two months please please be sticking to NCRT and NCRT alone also be solving mcqs right every day i have a certain amount of target solve as many mcqs as possible maybe even try pushing your limits right try setting an optimistic goal maybe a goal slightly more than what you could normally do maybe it could help you or maybe you would just fall short but you still solve a good amount of mcqs right also try and get mcqs from different sources different platforms it would actually enhance your knowledge give you a clearer concept and test your knowledge very effectively. Also, whenever you feel bored or when you don't feel like studying, study from an active point of view, right? 
maybe you ask your friends to test you maybe study from flash cards use whatever source that helps you or revert to a subject that you like for most of us it has been bio including me i always found bio to be simpler and whenever i used to find myself exhausted i used to revert to bio so even in your stage when you're not that productive you're still doing something you're still actually aiding in your preparation also a few general measures first be confident trust yourself trust your preparation right if you do not trust yourself nobody else will have that amount of confidence also i know many of you will be overthinking it even i was in your position even i overthought a lot so what i used to tell myself was this thing it is a little lame but whenever i used to find myself overthinking the only solution for me was to work harder because i did not find any other way to combat this right there's no point in me sulking and thinking ki what if i don't get selected what if i have to take a drop there's no point in thinking about all of this right now the only thing that is in your hands right now is to work hard so do that luck is not in our hands and that is a very natural thing but that does not mean that we should stop focusing on what is in our hands and that is to work hard as hard as possible hard work beats talent a sir told me this in my coaching and yes also did i join an institute uh, yes i joined an institute so did i have a good experience with it yes definitely actually uh, is it compulsory for you to join a coaching institute or not actually if from my experience i would recommend you a coaching institute the only reason being it teaches you discipline right you know what to do when to do because they have a certain amount of tests you have to attend those tests make sure you attend attending those tests regardless of the amount of preparation because a test is not only testing your knowledge but it is testing your speed your accuracy your ability to maintain calm even when say you go blank during an exam and not able to recall anything even in those situations you are supposed to be calm and make sure that you're not losing your cool and that is what mock tests are for so make sure that if you if you're not doing your coaching you're giving advocate number of mock tests yes a coaching definitely provides you guidance and directs you in a certain way which might help you but if you do not want to go for coaching say if you think that you are better off without it maybe it will save your time better maybe due to financial reasons or you just personally think it is a better choice for you just make sure that you're giving advocate number of mock tests you're being consistent in your preparation that is the most important so if you're doing these two then yes maybe even while coaching you'll get a good enough rank to maybe even get an aims also always remember it is a marathon not a sprint please do not undergo burnout be confident be consistent and just focus on yourself and on your preparation you know my dad used to say this one thing during my preparation that ye do saal tapasya karna hai this is literally a form of meditation you have to dedicate yourself these two years so that you can get into a good medical college and you can actually enjoy your bps life now mbps life has its ups and downs definitely but yes it is not as bad as the new preparation phase i mean yes is mbps life easy no the syllabus is way more as compared to me but the competitiveness is way less as compared to me and that is what makes it better you will have good friends here you will have a good time here so if you want to get into a good institute make sure you put in the amount of work that you need to and so finally i think this is it for this video and if you have any questions please uh, you can submit them in the comments below and finally best of luck for your preparation i hope you all do well